Hey guys, mm. only a few games left of the Stanley Cup Finals. Two to five. Two to five. Maybe even less at this point, depending upon when you're watching it. Right. Damn. We recorded this on a Monday. Dude. But hey, I just want to throw this out here. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to get in on the action before the game starts, live and play, how your favorite player performs, doing it right since 1997. You know, sports interaction is Canada's sports book. Join now to see that all all that sports betting has to offer. Head to sportsinteraction.com/stpn. That is sportsinteraction.com/stpn. 19 plus, and please. Play responsibly. Uh, with a little shout out to Austin Matthews. Woo! Best player in the league. I told you. What did I tell you? As voted by the media. And the players. And, and as voted by his peers. Is there anything Connor McDavid can do to surpass him? No. <laughs> can I remind you guys that neither of you picked him to win the Ted Lindsay when we did our awards predictions? Did, and that I, I picked really? him, to, I I picked him to win the heart in like February. And Edmonton blew up my shit. And I still, and I'm right. So give me that. Please give me this. I was the only one to say Matthews is going to win the Ted Lindsay. I don't know how that happened. You, but. you know what? It was, <laughs> it was a mistake. And I'll tell you why it was a mistake. The players really like him. Like the players really like Austin oh, Matthews. He's popular. So he's he's using his his media. His media. <laughs> well, no, his his no, he's it's his connections with the elites. Ah. The elites. Connor doesn't have of that. the NHL. No. He doesn't. Definitely not. No, certainly hey, not. So, but this is great. I don't know. This is great. Uh Ted I, Lindsay and the Heart. And and it's a double whammy. You know, I was talking with uh one of our listeners on the, on uh on Twitter last night. Uh, and once the Ted Lindsay was announced, because for some reason it's the lesser of the two, or it's like the warm up to the heart. I don't know why. What would you rather win? If you had to pick one, let's say Connor wins one, Matthews wins the other, you're Matthews or you're Connor. Which one do you want? Do you want the one that's voted on by the players, the Ted Lindsay award or the heart that's voted on by the media? Which one is considered the MVP? I don't, I guess it would have to be the Ted Lindsay. No, no, it'd it's be the, the heart. heart. <laughs> be the heart mvp so if you're mvp of any league you make more money it's hey you don't we, get a ted Lindsay bonus we have a, i don't think there's a lot of ted <laughs> Lindsay bonuses out there maybe you don't have to play pay as many uh, nhlpa dues if you win the uh, ted Lindsay. highly doubt it. okay highly yeah. doubt so i i think uh, the heart gets you a lot of money yeah the heart's the original uh, mvp uh, established in 1924. The Ted Lindsay didn't oh. come around until 1971. Oh. oh, what's up? I'm Mr. History, Jesse Blake. Ooh. That's very cool. Well, I Jesse's didn't know that. History so. Corner. I didn't know that Ted Lindsay was that old, to be honest with you. 71, yeah. Not, pretty, not bad. Wasn't it called something else, like the Lester B. Pearson or it something? Was. Yeah. That's why. Okay. It was called the Airport Award. Yeah. It's, mm. it's called That Guy Was a Prime Minister for a While Award. Yep. Don't get that, That's, but oh, he, yep. was, he was cool. Um, Peacekeeping and all that. But, it's going to be really interesting when we have like the John Gretchen Award for best defenseman. Yeah, no. Or something like that. We no, it's just that. not something we would do today. No, it's not. It's not. So And good? What does this mean? It's the first Hart Trophy in, since 1955. It's the first Ted Lindsay in Leafs history. And for uh, teams, players, or sorry, uh, fans of other teams that are laughing at the Leafs, you should. It's embarrassing that a team that is 105 years old has gone more than half a century Without an MVP, that's crazy. Fifty-five, zero Norris trophies. Yeah, none. Still Absolutely. never. Zero. The Leafs were the Leafs were born before James Norris himself. Just, just zero. I, maybe they weren't, but the uh, the reality is, how old is James Norris? General Dwight Eisenhower was the president of the United States. James Norris, eighteen seventy nine. One. Yeah, <laughs> scary. So, so this is the thing. The Leafs have at Andrew Berkshire. He was right. In 2017, when they did the uh, top 100 Leafs of all time, he's like, wow, you don't realize how few good players the Leafs have had. Mm -hmm. When well, you look at many, that list. How many of the top 100 Leafs ever currently play for them? Four. Mm, at least. Five, maybe five with Morgan. Oh, Morgan's a thousand percent on there. Nylander's got to be on there. Ooh. Come on, don't ooh me. He'd have to. Oh, man. You know what? It seems ridiculous. JVR's on the list. Well, he's not anymore. Yeah, he is. Well, sorry, he was in the top 100. Did they? Fedor actually... was on the list. Ooh, oof, Maron. That's so. Come bad. on, guys. Yeah, that's Neilander's on the top 100. He is. Like, should Nas be on the list? <laughs> like, dude, it's it's rough. There's an argument to be made for sure for Nas. Ooh, it's real rough. Yeah, Morgan's a thousand percent on the mm -hmm. list. Wow, wow, wow. Would yeah. Connor McDavid crack it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but it, you know it does it's kind of cool as a Leaf fan 
and I'm sure any team that has had players win awards can relate to this. It's cool to see him win. It sucks. And he said it too. He's like, I kind of wish I was still playing hockey. And if you look at Kale McCarr, yeah. who I don't even think was there, he's like, yeah, that's nice. But no, I, he, was. I was, he was there. He was. Yeah. So then, so the, because I, I watched in and out. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the NHL awards are usually pretty boring. But Kale McCarr, I thought the quote that I read this morning was he's, he, he sort of was like, I'm happy, but not right now, please. <laughs> you know? Yes. Yeah, he's got yes. bigger fish to fry. Like he he's, he's still he's still playing the games. There's more important stuff to be had, and the Norse Trophy is kind of secondary right now. It, who's going to be the first to do it? Do what? Who's going to be the first to do it? What? Do what? If and possibly when Colorado drops Game Four tonight. Oh, 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 oh come on! Who's going to be the first to say Kale McCarr was selfish for going to the NHL awards last night? Someone is going to do it. No one's going to say that. I I've think. thought it. That means someone else genuinely thought it. No. It's going to happen. Who's going to do it? No. You can't. What, what? First time? What are you new here? Steve, come on. Vince Carter. Vince Carter, man. Now it's a little different because he had to fly mm -hmm. to go do it. I believe the awards were in Tell, explain, Tampa. Explain that to people. What, what did Vince Carter do? So Vince Carter, on the eve of Game 7 of the second round, the NBA playoffs 2001, mm -hmm. uh, um, right before Game 7 against the Philadelphia 76ers, he went to attend his own college graduation. Then he came back, or went back to... Philly. Was it in Philly? It was in Philly. The uh, graduation was in uh, North Carolina. Yeah. So North Carolina not the same Philly. place, right? And he had to go back, and then they lose game seven, and he misses the final shot. And, oh, if he didn't go to his graduation. Meanwhile, he was pretty good in game seven, from what I remember. Uh, yeah, but he missed the last shot. Um, if ifs and buts were candy enough, listen, don't go to your freaking graduation. If that's your take, let me throw this at you. The MVP of the playoffs, Conn Smythe Trophy winner, Kale McCarr, currently on the decimal system, is at a 1 5 0. The next closest is Nathan McKinnon at a 5 1 3. So oh. if you have an issue with Kale McCarr going and accepting his best defenseman award trophy and you feel like he underperformed, I think you need to look at the rest of the playoffs. Can I just say, watching game three, you can easily, it's so easy to identify the players who are doing a lot. It's harder to identify the players who are doing a lot and the a lot is helpful. I don't know if the a lot that Nathan McKinnon did in game three was always helpful. We're not going to talk about that. Yeah, yet. we're, we're talking about the awards. Where are you going with this? <laughs> Let's talk Sorry, about. I was going to try to transition. Segment two. No, we got to talk about the awards. Oh we yeah, there's other about, awards. My bad. We got to talk about our favorite, favorite delicatessen in Detroit. More eats cider, right? Boo! Uh, More eats oh my cider. God, that's the restaurant before, he needs to start. Before you do cider, oh okay, is Matthews the gloat? Uh, Jonas Greatest Siegel. Of all time? Jonas Siegel wrote an article, I believe. Today. Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. And I listen, I, I with Bond no disrespect to I think here's the thing. Matthews is the most technically skilled player the Leafs have ever had, without yes. question. Yes. The only thing that I would say holds him back is the lack of playoff success. So if you put George Armstrong, if you put Ted Kennedy, if you put Frank Mahovlich ahead of him, I understand that because they won cups. Yeah. And I know it was original six era, I get it. But, but, you know, it, it wasn't like people act like it was easy to win the cup in the original six era. Uh, ask Chicago Blackhawks and uh, <laughs> New York Rangers fans who won like four. Nothing. You know, it, it, it really genuinely the only thing that remains to be done is he needs to win a championship. But it's not the Gaplot, which is the greatest player the Leafs have ever had of all time or whatever. Mm. That, it's like the it's greatest leaf of all time. Gloat. Yeah. Greatest leaf of all time. So it's like the Kawhi versus Kyle Lowry thing. Kyle Lowry is a far better Raptor than Kawhi yeah. because of the longevity. Kawhi is the best player they've ever had. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. So I think the the gloat distinction for Matthews should be held off until he's like a captain. He yeah. has playoff success. Like I think Matt Sundin was pretty damn good, guys. <laughs> right. Like, Everybody's a little premature, I thought, with the conversation yeah. yesterday. But everything, ah, this is the greatest mm -hmm. leaf ever. Yeah. When there's uh, there's a there's got there's a legend's row. Like you're yeah. there's a, it's a little. There. He's probably the best player they've ever had. Your Ka Kawhi analogy is perfect because mm -hmm. Matthews is is probably the best player that's ever played for the Leafs. But it doesn't mean he's the greatest. Like Doug Gilmore is considered among the greatest, and I would compare Matthews career so far to him 
Yeah, Doug right. Gilmore, who, if you remember, was here for like a minute. He was five years. <laughs> five years. Yeah. Five years. Five years, which Matthews is has already been, been here things. longer. Yeah. So five years, put up a ton of points, uh, single season record, still one individual hardware with the Selkie. Um, so th- that's the comparison. But like you put Gilmore up against Matt Sundin. Sundin's resume is it's just better. Mm-hmm. So let me show let me show you this, okay? Mm-hmm. At the height of the suck era in the NHL. Uh, what is the what? height of the suck era is 1998 to about 2004. Oh. Actually, when the Leafs were very, very good. Dead puck. But dead puck <laughs> era. That's the height of the suck era. This era yeah. sucks. The highest scoring player in 2001, 2002 was who, Steven? Was it Matt Sundin? No. Oh, Yarmir Yager? What was the question? No, that was a good question. Yarmir Yager was number five that year, and he had been number one the last two or three years. Okay, what was the question? 2001, 2002. Yes. Top score, 24 years old, in the NHL. There's a reason I'm asking you specifically. Me specifically? Oh, what the? Why would I ask you? It's not James Reimer. It's... I know who it is. I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Jerome, Jerome McGinla. McGinla. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, is he new here? Anyway, so he Jerome McGinla in 82 games. Full, so full 82, ashamed. He had 52 goals, which is fucking crazy when you consider that he had the most points to 96. That's when he was robbed of the heart. Yeah, that's right, because it went to Theodore. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> give me a fucking break. Sorry, yeah. Montreal, but come on. Uh, the next highest score was Marcus Na- Nasland, 90 points. The uh, next Very high- underrated in the... Uh, just the grand scheme of things conversation. Oh, certainly. Yeah, yeah. Marcus uh, the Naslin next, was a monster. The next highest score was Naslin's uh, uh, teammate, Todd Bertuzzi, with 85. And the fourth highest scoring player, and I can remember zero talk about this at the time, and I read every Damian Cox and Steve Simmons and whoever else was a sports reporter article. I clipped them all out of the newspaper back then. Matt Sundin, 30 years old, 82 games, 80 points, fourth in the NHL. Dude should have been called Blitzen because every time he came up the middle, he had two defensemen hooking him from behind. 41, 41 goals that year in the dead puck era. Unreal. Matt Sandin. So good. Crazy. It's, yeah. it's just a crazy thing. And I just, I wanted to put that in for context. I think, I think you're right, Jesse. The more I think about it, because I would have come in today all fired up and be like, yeah, hell yeah, he's the best. But he, accomplishments matter. Yes. And yeah. in the, this conversation, he's got all the hardware now. He's won the Calder. He's won the Lindsay. I mean, if he wins a Selkie, that'd be great. And he could be in contention for it. I don't know if he'll ever get it, mm. but he's defensively very strong. He could be nominated one day. Yeah. Hart and Lindsay. Amazing. That's so fucking incredible. Calder. 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 Incredible. But he said it best last night. He's like, I really wish we were playing hockey right now. Yes. And I think it, it does matter. Like Doug Gilmore is so held up. Because that surprising Leafs run in 92, and then the next year, 93, even though they got swept by Vancouver, it was like, or 4-1 or whatever it was. It was 93 and then 94. Oh, sorry, 92, yeah. 93, 93, 94. Whatever, yes, Vancouver beat them yeah. handily mm-hmm. the second time. But, but you know, you forget, Matt's also went to the conference final a couple of times. Twice, 99 mm-hmm. and 2002. And went to the second round most years. Yep. Uh, most years, they were not out in the first round, those Leafs. Nope. Um, I, I think Matthew's the next step for him, and I think he knows this. He's well aware. You, you got to, I mean, in Toronto, you got to at least get to the third round. <laughs> Him and Mitch Marner are two thirds of the uh, NHL all-star team uh, forward group. And yeah, it's McDavid is the other one, right? Yeah, and they got knocked out in the first round. Yeah. I guess they're a really good team, but it's got to happen. And it's not like, I don't want anybody to think it's disrespect to Matthews. It's just the rarefied air conversation that we're having is... These are the greatest, you know, in, in and, 105 years. I, these are the y- best. Yeah. If Matthews came out, let, let's say some rookie, let's say Shane Wright makes his NHL debut next year and he scores 500 points. <laughs> what next year? 500 points in one season. Okay. And he will. So <laughs> 400 Just of ask, Canadi- goals. ask Canadians fans. Yeah. He will. You're, you're playing uh, NHL on rookie. Yeah. 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 He scores 500 Your points. team Canada, oh, you're playing team Japan. Greatest, greatest hab of all time. No. 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 Greatest season in NHL history? Sure. Most talented player to ever lace up skates. Potentially. <laughs> yes. Best hab of all time. No. No. Fuck snow. Not no. even close. Not even close. There's it's, like 18 guys ahead of him. It takes tenure, man. <laughs> yeah. it, longevity is part of it. And now, would Austin Matthews be the greatest Seattle Kraken of all time? <laughs> oh, easily, easily, right? Would he be the greatest Golden Knight of all time? Probably. Yeah, 
But again, this franchise is 105 years old. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little bit different. And I'm yeah. no disrespect to Kraken or Golden Knights fans, but you understand what we're saying. I well, think the greatest Seattle Kraken of all time, does he even play for the Kraken? No, anymore? he plays for the Leafs. <laughs> you think it's a Geo? Yeah. 